Hello everyone, greetings to all. In this video we are going to learn about the important MCQ questions asked in the properties of materials. Now we will see. The first question is what is meant by hygroscopicity? So hygroscopicity is nothing but it is ability to absorb the water from air or to absorb the water from the surroundings that is known as hygroscopicity. Please remember to absorb water from air or to absorb water from the surroundings. This is, this is called hygroscopicity. And second one is what is meant by strength? Strength we already know. Strength is nothing but the ability of a material to resist failure under the action of stresses caused by the loads. So please remember strength is nothing but the ability of material to resist failure under the action of stresses. This is called strength. And third one is and also strength there are four types of strengths are there namely compressive strength, tensile strength, bending strength and impact strength. So strength is nothing but the ability of material to resist failure under the action of stresses caused by the loads. This is called strength. And third one is what is meant by hardness. Hardness is nothing but the ability of material to resist penetration. So please re simply remember the ability of material to resist penetration. This is called hardness. Hardness can be measured by using the Mohs scale. The Mohs scale is uh, used for uh, measure the hardness. So hardness is nothing but the ability of material to resist penetration. This is called hardness. And fourth one is what is meant by elasticity. This is very important. Elasticity is nothing but the ability of material to restore its initial form and dimensions after the load is removed. This is called elasticity. If you take one material and apply some load, then after you remove the load, it regain its original shape that is called elasticity. Like, like a rubber. When you are stretching, it may be changed in some dimensions and after that, when you are releasing your uh, stretch, it again regain its original shape. So elasticity is nothing but the ability of material to restore its initial form and dimensions after the load is removed. This is called elasticity. And fifth one is what is meant by plasticity? This is also very important. Plasticity is nothing but the ability of material to change its shape under the load without cracking and to retain this shape after the load is removed. This is called plasticity. So elasticity in the sense once you are removing the load, it regain its initial shape. But in the case of plasticity in the sense, once you remove the load, it's retain its newly formed shape. So plasticity is the ability of material to change its shape under the load without cracking and to retain this shape after the load is removed. When you are going to apply a particular load on a material and after that they formed a new shape. And again you are going to remove your load means it do not regain its original shape. It regain, regain the, the new shape that is called plasticity. And also without any cracking. So plasticity is nothing but the ability of material to change its shape under load without any cracking and to retain the shape after the load is removed. So please try to learn the difference between elasticity and plasticity. Elasticity in the sense it's regain its initial shape but, but in the case of plasticity is it's regain its newly formed shape without any cracking. And sixth one is what is meant by malleability. This is very important. Malleability is a physical property of materials that defines the ability to be hammered, pressed or rolled into a thin sheet without breaking or tearing. Simply it is the ability of material to roll it into a thin sheets without any breaking. This is called malleability. And seventh one is what is meant by ductility. Ductility is nothing but the ability to deform under tensile stress. This is called ductility or the ability to resist under the tensile stress. And also the ductile materials undergo plastic deformations before fracture. 
and eighth one is what is meant by durability durability in the sense the ability of materials to resist the combined effects of atmospheric and other factors that is like a wind earthquake snow sunlight these kind of things so durability nothing but the ability of material to resist the combined effects of atmosphere and ninth one is what is meant by heat conductivity simply nothing but the ability of material to conduct heat to conduct heat that is known as heat conductivity the ability of material to conduct heat is known as the conduct heat conductivity and tenth one is what is meant by thermal capacity it is a property of material to absorb heat described by its specific heat is known as thermal capacity thermal capacity is nothing but it absorbs heat described by its specific heat is known as thermal capacity so so in this 10 properties definitions are very important there are what type of mcq questions asked in the competitive examination means they will give either the definition and ask about what is this or they they may be they may be asked match the typing of uh, match the type of uh, questions are also asked so please try to learn the difference between all kind of materials so hygroscopy it is nothing but it absorb water from air strength is nothing but to, uh, it is ability of material to resist failure under the action of stress and third one is hardness is nothing but the ability to resist penetration elasticity in the sense once you are going to apply uh, apply a load after you load after you removing a load it regain its original shape that is called elasticity plasticity in the sense it is the ability of a material to change its shape under load without any cracking and to retain this shape after the load is removed that is known as plasticity in the case of plas elasticity it's regain its original shape in the case of plasticity it's regain its newly formed shape without any cracking so malleability is nothing but it is the ability of material to roll into a thin sheets without any breaking or tearing that is known as malleability ductility in the sense ability to deform under the tensile stress that is known as ductility ductile materials are undergo without any plastic deformation before fracture and durability in the sense the ability of material to resist the combined effects of atmosphere and other factors that is known as durability durability uh, durability will give the life of the material and the heat conductivity is nothing but the ability of material to conduct heat thermal capacity in the sense the ability of material to absorb heat by its specific heat so please try to remember all the definition strength this is also very important and next we will move to the important values of some of the properties of the materials so what is the bulk density of bricks the bulk density of bricks in lies in between 1600 to 1800 kg per meter cube and what is the value of bulk density of sand 1452 to 1650 kg per meter cube so brick in the sense its value is 1600 2800 sand in the sense its value is 1452 1650 so bulk density of sand is always less than bulk density of bricks and what is maybe density index density index rho not is nothing but the ratio of bulk density to density and it is denoted by a symbol of rho not and its value is always less than 1 so please remember its value is always less than 1 density is nothing but it is the ratio of bulk density to density and for the one what is the unit weight of timber unit weight of timber is 6 to 10 kN per meter cube and what is the unit weight of cement mortar 20.4 kN per meter cube and 16th one what is the unit weight of brick masonry 18.852 kN per meter cube and 17th one what is the unit weight of cement plaster 0.2 kN per meter cube and 18th one what is the unit weight of brick wall for 100 mm thick not 200 mm 100 mm thick its value is 1.91 kN per meter cube so please try to remember 
these important values of properties of materials. So unit weight of timber is 6 to 10 kN per meter cube. Cement for cement metal means 20.4 kN per meter cube. For brick masonry means 18.85 to 22 kN per meter cube. And cement plaster means 0.2 kN per meter cube. Brick wall for 100 mm thick means 1.91 kN per meter cube. And 19th one, what is, which one is the least strength of stone? The answer is talc and its, uh, and its uh, hardness value is 1 and, uh, and also it, it have a least strength. And 20th one, what is the most scale value of gypsum? That is 2. Please remember, most scale value of gypsum is 2. And also hardness value of gypsum is 2. And 21, quartz in most scale. That is the value of hardness in the value of hardness of quartz is 7. Please remember the value of hardness of quartz is 7. And 22, which one has which one is high strength of stone? The answer is diamond. Diamond will have high strength. Least strength in the sense it is a talc. And 23rd, that is very important one. Examples of malleable materials. So gold is the most malleable material and also silver, iron, aluminium, copper and tin. But exceptionally gold is the most malleable materials. So the examples of malleable materials are gold, silver, iron, aluminium, copper and tin. And 24th one, examples of ductile materials. Platinum, aluminium, copper, steel, polyethylene, nylon etc. And platinum is the most ductile material. And 25th one, what is brittle materials? So brittle material is nothing but the material that fracture without any plastic deformation. It is termed as brittle materials. The materials, the material fracture without any deformation is termed as brittle materials. The examples of brittle materials are glass and other ceramic materials. And 27th one, at what temperature the specificity value is measured or calculated? That is 4 degrees Celsius. Under the 4 degrees Celsius, the specificity value is calculated. Specificity is nothing but the density of solids to the density of water. Thanks for watching this video. Please download this full materials as a PDF in my website. I also shared the link to download the whole materials in my video description. Kindly download it and that in my notes I also mentioned a lot of values of uh, different properties of the materials. So kindly see it. Once again thanks for watching this video. Thank you.